So right click and with your mouse you'll see video search click on that and then your um, playback screen will come up with your times and dates on. You can see there that you uh, can choose playback to view the last five or ten minutes or so if it's just something that's happened recently then you can just click that and uh, what's happened in the last few minutes will come up and you can see that you've got controls at the bottom just like a normal DVD player play and fast forward uh, volume control button press exit and it'll take you back to the playback screen now to go further back you can choose your dates um, that you'd like so you can see there that that day there was nothing recorded but now we can see the days that there was actually some events recorded so you click on that click on the hour click the exit button and you're back to the screen and you can see there that the parts that are highlighted red are where there's been an event so instead of clicking on a whole hour and fast forwarding through a whole hour to find uh, the part of an event that you want you can click file list and that will bring up a list of the recordings that are on the machine and uh, then you can choose whichever one you want by clicking the boxes at the side there and choose which ones you want and say for instance you wanted to back up then you could click back up and then that would send that to uh, to your USB memory stick where you can back up the evidence that you require. If you want to choose recordings by camera you can choose which one you want like camera 1, channel 1 and you'll see the events there for whichever camera you have selected and uh, if you've chosen to record an alarm rather than just normal or event you can use this drop down to um, select which type of recording that you want. If you click the last button, it'll take you to the last recording, the first to the first, and you use these pre and next buttons to move along the pages. If you click this other button, it means that you can select everything else other than what you've ticked. So if you've got a lot of events, um, we'll just try and get something up here with a few events on. Here you can see the four, you can choose the one um, that you want to keep click the other and it'll highlight all the others except for the one that you've you've chosen click exit and then exit again and you're back to your live screen and it will play.